and in the build up to Christmas I thought I'd come up with another Christmassy craft for my Trash to Treasure series and I have a little post box. Now our post box is for fairies and elves because uh, all the children are making Christmas lists and posting them now for Santa for, uh, for themselves but what about all the fairies, the elves, dolls, teddies that all might want to write their own Christmas lists. So here we have a little mini post box um, for Christmas and it is made from, you probably guess, a toilet roll. Classic, uh, classic throwaway item that we can make into something far more exciting. So I'm going to start with a pair of scissors just to create the top here. I'm going to first of all snip away on the top section if you can see this. I'm just going to make some little slits down the top of the toilet roll. I'm going about a centimetre deep all the way around and then if you just fan out the top like that that's going to make the top section of our post box and give them a little push like that. Now I need to draw around him to get my nice flat top here. So I have a piece of cereal box, another great throwaway item and I'm going to pop him on there, just press down a little, take a pen and just draw roughly round so I can see where my top needs to go. Line there for my uh, for the top of my post box, so I'm just going to cut around that one. There we are. And when you've got your uh, your circle, place in easiest if you can do it with the um, the cereal side downwards. It just takes less paint then to cover it. Place them on the top like that and I just used a stapler just to staple all round and hold it in place. So that's all I'm going to do there. And just keep working your way all the way round and when you've done that if you then mark out a section for the letterbox probably a third of the way down And take a, take a nice sharp pair of scissors, cut into that. I usually go somewhere in the middle there, so it doesn't matter if you go slightly wrong. Cut out your post box shape. And it doesn't matter if it's a little bit wide, it's got to fit your letters in it. Carry on until you get a nice even shape. And there's one I've just... Uh, finished off, he's stapled all the way round there and a nice letter box pulled out of the middle. When you get to that stage he's ready to be looked, he's ready to look a little bit more Christmassy and put a bit of paint on him. So I've got some ordinary red poster paint here that I've just popped on a plate and I'll take a take a nice fat paint brush to it and it's one the children can join in with here because you don't have to be careful on it at all and just paint the whole thing red. So just find it easiest if you put two fingers up the bottom there and hold it and then uh, paint all the way around. You might find if you're doing this with small children, if you pop it on, either pop it on their fingers and then you paint or if you hold it steady on your fingers and then you can let them go mad with the paintbrush because as I say, you don't have to be too accurate. It's just about making sure he's coated all the way around. When you've done that, you do have to then leave it to dry completely because you want a completely, completely dry post box before you go on to the next stage. There we go, I'm going to finish that one off in a minute to add to my, add to my collection, but you get the idea. Go on the underneath bits there as well and make sure he's all filled in all the way around that bottom bit. 
and then I should just leave them on your plate there to dry to keep your, your table clean. And when it's dry, you have a post box that looks like that. Now, no post box is complete without a black rim at the bottom. So that needs a squirt of black paint. And I'm going to use a finer brush for this one just because you need to be a little bit more careful. But again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like you could measure it out and put some tape on, but to be honest, I just do it by eye. And then just paint the bottom of the box all the way around. I actually just Googled um, Christmas post boxes to get the images for this and sort of see exactly in my mind what it needed to look like. All the way around there and that just gives the base. You can see now why it needs to be dry because otherwise you'll have your red running with it from the, from the post box. And then again I would leave that one to dry before doing the next bit but just to show you without touching the black bit I'm going to go on to the next stage which is to create the uh, little message box here and again really important to have a nice dry post box to do this otherwise your messages instead of being white will be a pretty pink shade so moving on to an even thinner paintbrush for this and you want a nice little nice little white box just below the letterbox section and if you can try and do this in as fewer brush strokes as possible just so that you don't get that pink effect that I was talking about there we go and you might want to make it just slightly larger than it might be on a real post box because you actually want to fit your message on there and when you've got your Square and your black bit. Again, it's a case of leaving them both to dry. And then when he's nice and dry, like that one is, white's dry, the black's dry, all the red's dry, you can take a pen and write your Christmas message on. So I'm going to just write on here. Twenty fourth of December. Right, so there he is. He's almost done. I've got one more stage though. You'll notice that uh, this one has got a slightly glossy shape, a slightly glossy coating to it. Um, and what we what I did is because um, we wanted to use ours outside as well we actually put a coating of PVA glue on it um, it goes on white but dries on perfectly and whether you're actually whether you're using it inside or out it does give it that lovely glossy sheen and makes it a bit more substantial certainly if you're going to uh, pop it in an outdoor fairy garden or anything um, even just to play with, it just makes it that little bit more, a uh, little bit more substantial. So I'm just going to pop some of that on a plate, just the same as painting the um, painting the post box in the first place. Now don't be alarmed by the colour; it will go nice and clear. Try and minimise the strokes over the main bit there, so that it just to make sure it doesn't run. Just some nice clean strokes, and trust me, it will come out clear when it dries. Take them all the way round up to the top and on this one it is important to get the top done as well because obviously if it is going to be outside and it's a little bit damp while you're outside playing with them it's just going to stop your toilet roll going soggy. And then finally can you see that? Put it a quite a nice thick layer on the top there. I'm going to get it all the way round under here as well, under the rim. And 
and then finally just do a little bit at the bottom there just on the very inside especially around the bottom I know for on ours we've been putting it in the fairy garden and it's quite damp in there on the leaves and the undergrowth at the moment but if you get a nice layer of glue just covering the seal at the bottom of the toilet roll it will really help it there we go I've got it going right up inside there and then just leave them to dry and when he's fully dried you'll have a finished post box that looks like this one one thing it needs is some posts we need some fairy and elf posts and what I've done is just written some little messages um, you could write messages put stickers on them anything anything the children want to do really but I've just put some little Christmas wishes for the for the fairies on mine I've got fairy food and clothes and toys and games and probably things my children would want really um, and if you just make sure they're big enough to fit inside your letterbox there and I've got all of mine and they just uh, just go in there absolutely perfect perfect size for going in and I've made them out of no surprises cereal box um, I actually went for this one which is an Asda Weetabix equivalent because it's got some nice patches of plain card which is really what you need for this um, and then it's literally just a case of they're plain on both sides then you've got uh, a nice base to work with just literally cutting some nice little shapes that are the right size to fit in your post box then uh, pop, your, pop your message on. As I say you can either write on them or draw a little picture. And there they are. Put Merry Christmas on that one. And again exactly the same thing if you wanted to, to make these a little bit more substantial and use them outdoors as well. Just give them a little coating of the PVA glue and that will just make them a bit a bit more substantial. And set them aside to dry. And just to show how that works, there's my one that I was just coating a few minutes ago and already you can see the white is going quite clear and uh, it'll be about another half an hour and that will be a nice clear post box. And if you get a collection of them together, make a whole little village of uh, post boxes and dot them around. We might even do a post box trail on our uh, for Christmas round here and lay them out perhaps along our welly walk as things to, to spot and um, make some letters to find along the way. Or you could even hang them up and put um, some of those little um, tea lights in, not the ones with the live flames obviously, but the little battery tea lights inside and make them light light up and leave them in a, a window ledge or something, all sorts of possibilities.